Traders at UBA anticipate a notable decre decrease in system liquidity accompanied by an increase in funding rate up to levels in the mid double digits. So this is due to today's retail Smith's auction and potential CR debits. So Wachiku, head of ELM and balance sheets management at UBA, joins me now for more market updates. Chuka, thank you so much. Pleasure to have you on the show today. Well, bring us up to speed on market, on market action. Uh, walk us through highlights for today and, of course, uh, market liquidity levels. Yeah, liquidity is really, um, the system is highly liquid. Um, yesterday, uh, between Wednesday and uh, today, uh, opened on an average of uh, 650 billion, and that's um, quite significant. And that has actually um, um, directed the movement of, um, of trade. Uh, we've seen uh, bullish sentiment. Uh, in the two markets, um, the TBUs market and then the bond market. Uh, we've seen um, a lot of cherry picking on the bond side, especially the 2026, uh, 2029, um, as well as the longer um, end of the curve, which is 2049 and 2050. Well, you, last time you and I spoke, uh, the, uh, we're waiting the results of the NTB auction, I believe uh, that was probably Wednesday. Talk to us about, uh, I believe it was oversubscribed. Talk to us about the outcome. Yeah, you're quite right. Um, it was oversubscribed uh, by 815 billion. Um, 182 billion was um, offered and sold, and so we have well, uh, well over um, well over 670 billion still out there in the market, and that is why we've seen a huge um, um, you know, activity, uh, especially on the one year. Um, we saw um, increment of uh, 149 uh, basis point. Um, from um, 7.99 to uh, 9.45. So, do you expect any significant mop-ups going coming in the new week? Because uh, with, with the system liquidity this high, I mean, history tells us that we know that you know there will be a mop-up. Yeah, today, um, incidentally, um, CBN uh, did his um, uh, discretional um, CRL um, debit, so that will uh, reduce the um, system liquidity as well as the, um, the FX auction today, that will significantly reduce the system liquidity. So um, we don't see um, this robust um, liquidity going into the, um, the, into the next, into next week, and that will uh, significantly affect um, uh, trading. Well, speaking about the FX market, curious to see the Naira uh, slipping against the dollar to as low as 469, 470. Uh, levels from the 464, 465 uh, levels has been for quite some time. Uh, uh, what can you tell us in terms of what may be happening there? I think it's all about demand and supply. Um, that uh, E, I, and E, like you rightly mentioned, is trading around the 469.5 levels. Um, it's been like this um, from um, Ultra this week. Uh, we don't expect any changes next week, um, except something uh, significant happened. Um, you, the CBN has already been, um, you know, intervening here and there. But again, I mean, uh, it's all about demand and supply. And so, as long as the uh, demand outweighs the uh, supply, we continue to see um, a depreciation. Let's talk about the uh, corporate bond market. Uh, we haven't talked about that for a while. W what's happening there? Any notable uh, events? I think the corporate bond market is. Um, you know, nothing has really happened at that end, and that is because um, you know a lot depends on the new government. Um, most investors are watching to see what the government uh, direction will be. Uh, we've seen the announcement on the increment of um, uh, petrol, and then uh, of course um, the government is talking with the labour. Um, but again, uh, you know, it, that also has to do with them. Um, you know what the government is looking to do. Um, the president has said that he is a bullish. Um, uh, uh, is most of his policy is going to be bullish, and so um, that will, add, uh, you know, will, will um, drive what he intends to do. And that, of course, will uh, give in, um, investors, you know, um, an idea of what the government is likely to do. Presently, he doesn't have the cabinet yet, but I, I believe that by the time the cabinet is formed, you know, the policy direction will be clear. Uh, also, has there been any impact on the movement of uh, uh, Nigeria's euro bonds? We know that uh, obviously when uh, the news, <clears throat> when the president announced that he was going to remove the fuel subsidy, we did see uh, a bit of a rally there. Uh, have you been keeping an eye on that? Is there something, is there something for us to watch out for? Um, it, for now, it's too early to uh, the Nigeria euro bond. Um, it's, it's still, um, it's still trading flat. Um, you know. 
The announcement by the president on removing the fuel subsidy you know, is a wake on development in the sense that, um, I mean, the huge amount being spent on uh, soil subsidy can be channeled into other areas of economy, and that will create a lot of jobs. And so that will bring in a lot of um, uh, respite in terms of, even on the FX side as well, because, I mean, um, when uh, this um, subsidy uh, funds are channeled into the real sector of the economy, it will uh, drive growth. Right, let's talk about uh, your forecast for the coming week. Uh, it's going to be a four-day uh, trading week. Uh, walk us through what we can expect. Yeah, um, on the bond side, uh, we, are, we still expect to see a moderate uh, cherry-picking trading. Um, we still expect the system to be somewhat liquid, but not as liquid as this week. And so we see um, a bit of uh, bullish sentiment on, the, on that end. On the TBU side, uh, we still see bullish sentiment, uh, especially with those who lost at the auction. I mean, we still have about demand of well over 650 billion out there. And so those demands will come into the secondary market and then we'll see a bullish sentiment. So um, next week, uh, we expect to see, um, you know, mixed sentiment um, and then um, quiet trading as well.